All right, guys. Today we're going to talk about Grid Shot. The thing that always everyone always asks me to play on stream is Grid Shot. I don't know why everyone loves Grid Shot, but everyone does. Now, the famous score everyone always wants to get is a hundred thousand. Now, it's not easy, but I'm still confident. I think anyone with the right amount of practice can actually get a hundred thousand on Grid Shot. All it takes is practice, practice, practice. Now, first question I want to ask though is why do you want to get a hundred k? Now, Grid Shot, to be honest, is Probably the worst of all. Well, it's definitely not the best. There's nowhere near the best. Depending on the game you're playing. Um, for Valorant, Grid Shot is pretty much useless. Counter Strike, any sort of game like that. Grid Shot doesn't really help. I think it really got popular from Fortnite, I think. Um, but to be honest, I I really will not recommend Grid Shot. Now, people love it for some reason, like I said. So um, I will show you how I got 100k anyway, how just consistent practice did it. But First question I want to ask is, do you really want to? Um, is it worth it? Now, a lot of people will use grid shot as a warm up for the warm up. So I've heard the argument saying that they will do grid shot literally just to, you know, get their arm moving, the wrists going, whatever. And uh, that's sort of the warm up before they actually start the proper aim lab routine. Now, uh, I do grid shot purely because everyone always asks me to do it on a stream. Otherwise, I wouldn't do grid shot at all personally. Uh, but that's up to you. Um, we'll say that for another time. I'm not going to hear talk all day of why you shouldn't do grid shot. I'll just hear about how you can get 100k in grid shot with enough practice. Now, one of the things people don't realize about grid shot is every time you miss, you actually lose score. So consistently hitting targets is actually more important. So the thing you want to work on first is the accuracy. You want to have an accuracy of around 95% if you can. If, you, if you're getting less than 95%, you want to slow down. So forget about score for first, okay? Just focus on getting 95% or above accuracy don't even look at your score for now okay just try and focus on that now if it goes if you start in 100 percent and 90 is getting easy to start to speed up now the, the faster you go you'll tend to miss targets more as, as you get more confidence in your aim um the idea is you want to keep that accuracy as high as possible don't even worry about the score at, to start with okay just worry about that that accuracy if your accuracy is like 50 percent just slow down slow as much down as you can work on the accuracy first don't even look at scores at the moment the other thing about grid shot, having a higher sensitivity does actually matter. Now, you can obviously do it with a low sensitivity, but it's a lot harder. Some people will cheese really high scores on grid shot just because the sensitivity is so high. Now, this is the question you've got to ask again with grid shot. Do you want to work just to get a 100k score or do you just want to work on your own aim? Now, what I say is you should use it whatever sensitivity you're using in game uh, and practice that. You shouldn't really be bothered about other people's scores. So you shouldn't even be bothered about the 100k in grid shot, to be honest with you. But I understand that you want to hit the 100k, you want to do it, you want to make sure that you can actually do it. Fair enough. But you might have to change your sensitivity just to cheese that high score. Um, to prove a point, I've been practicing um, experimenting, I should say, with mouse acceleration for the last few days. You've been watching my stream, you should know that now. I can't hit 100k on grid shot with mouse acceleration. I haven't yet to do it yet. Um, but I'm steadily getting there. I'm pretty sure I will do eventually. Um, but for me to show you 100k on Gritcher right now, I'm going to have to turn off Mouse Excel. I'll set my sends to something high. And uh, we'll, we'll go about that. But I will not be able to show you. I will not be able to record 100k score with my current Mouse Acceleration sends. I'll do a whole video on Mouse Acceleration soon for those that are interested. But um, the text of it, I, I can't actually hit 100k on Gritcher right now. But what I'll do is right now, I'll use i'll use my old old sensitivity of one here uh on valorant's 400 dpi i used to be able to hit 100k all the time with this so uh we'll use that anyway uh my my old my current sentence of mouse excel if you want to know is 0 0.3 with mouse acceleration on um which with a four limit can go up to yeah anyway i'll go do that now
Right. Okay, so once you've chosen the sensitivity you're going to stick with, um, maybe if you just want to use whatever sends you using in games, probably the best. But if it's on the really low side, you are going to struggle. Uh, you want to consistently practice um, every night, 10, 15 minutes if you can. Uh, before bed, preferably, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I've heard the rumor that if you do it before you sleep, it's always good. But whatever. The trick is you want to do it every day. And at the start, your probably score is going to be terrible, probably. You just want to consistently do it as much as you can. Remember, don't look at your score at the start. Look at your accuracy. You want to get the accuracy number right up. Slow down. Slow really right down if you have to. Take your time and try and get the high 90%, 95 to 100 if you can, accuracy. Okay? Don't even look at your score for now. Once you start hitting those high numbers, then you want to start speeding up. Okay, you want to speed up. Just naturally start speeding up and your your accuracy will get worse as you speed up more. If you start dropping into the 80% of accuracy, you want to slow down again. Okay. And what you find, you'll get a balance where you're, you're as you get more confidence in your aim, you'll speed up, but you keep the accuracy the same. And that's how your score is going up and up and up. Okay. Now you want to do this literally every day, every single day as much as you can um I, I would say just a few runs every night to be honest just before bed quick 10 15 minutes of grid shot you know just consistently do it try not to change your sends in between if you don't have to um yeah and just stick to it every day now there are a few things that actually help me um in regards to in the 100k and grid shot might not help you but a few tips um just little like tweaks and things you can do in in aim lab themselves um one of the main things I would actually do is actually, if you go into options, uh, audio, I would actually turn off weapon volume off and music volume. Um, now, the, the weapon volume, it means if you miss, you can actually hear it if you miss. You, need, um, you only have the actual audio of hitting the shot. That's the only audio you will hear. I find that helped me out quite a bit. And the other thing, which is quite important actually, is you want to disable full screen optimizations. Now, I talk about this a lot in my stream. Now, if you're on Windows 10, which I guarantee 95% of you are, when you run games or aim lab or whatever in full screen exclusive mode, uh, they're not actually full screen exclusive. Now, Windows does what it's called is optimized borderless window. Um, and what that does is that's so you they can put the game bar shit or whatever over the, wi over the window. You can alt tab faster etc etc problem is this is add quite a bit of input lag now most players already know about this uh what you can do is you can actually disable it um on an app basis and i'll show you how to do it now if you go to your steam uh go to your aim lab properties you want to go to browse local files okay this will open up an explorer and you have your aim lab exe file you just want to right click it properties on the compatibility tab and now you see i've already got mine ticked right here disable full screen optimizations make sure that is tick apply okay and obviously restart your game and that, what that will do is is that it will actually run as an actual full screen exclusive mode it's not just windows bullshit optimized borderless window okay you will notice a bit of um input lag reduction on there and you find that it does actually help quite a bit in aim lab uh when you when you're doing your grid shot every night just these small tweaks will actually make quite a bit of a difference that you will actually feel another thing as well if you're on 60 hertz it's gonna be hard it's gonna be very hard um what are you doing on 60 hertz i, I rant about this so much but listen you might be able to get 100k with 60 hertz but it will be difficult it will be difficult your input lag is going to be insane um don't do that okay i don't care just remortgage your house or something get a 240 hertz monitor the 360 hertz are coming out soon so all the 240 hertz will come down in price at least get a 144 or 120 60 hertz is no don't do it It'd be very very difficult okay okay so just go with what i said you want to try and stick to a sensitivity preferably a higher one uh, i want to say higher 400 dpi talking csgo sends number here or valorant sends i'll say anything from like 0.7 so about like 1.2, 1.3, that range in Valorant, 400 DPI. And CSGO sends, that's like around 2.2 all the way up into like the 3.2 range. Um, obviously, again, that's just preference, but grid shot is easier with a higher sense. Um, so obviously you'll be able to achieve the 100K higher. But again, you have to think of why you want to get that 100K. If you're just practicing for a particular game, is there any point? But if you want to cheese high score, go for it. Okay. Um, and then work on accuracy. Again, you want to make sure you're always hitting 95% accuracy if you can, at least the 90s. Don't drop below 90% accuracy. If you do, you need to slow down. 
Only when you're hitting 90% plus accuracy are you going to allow yourself to speed up. Now, any questions all, guys? Just feel free to put in the comments below on the YouTube or pop into my stream. I stream pretty much every day, twitch.tv slash on screen. Ask you any questions about aim lab or how you're getting on your journey to 100k and grid shot, or if you want me to quickly do 100k for you, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Thank you.